In 1979, the city of Nagasaki presented St. Paul with the plans for this garden as a gift, honoring the sister city relationship between the two cities. Established in 1955, this was the first sister city relationship between Asian and American cities. Mr. Masami Matsuda, a renowned landscape gardener in Nagasaki, created the garden in the Sansui and Chisenkayu styles. This mountain and water garden is intended to be experienced from many angles rather than from a single vantage point. Alive with diverse and beautiful elements, the garden was created to delight all senses. Although Japanese gardeners painstakingly consider the placement of every element, the garden is representative of a natural landscape. Mr. Matsuda credits nature itself with this garden's creation. Under Mr. Matsuda's supervision in 1991, the garden was extensively renovated and a tea house and tea garden were added. He designed the tea house in the traditional Sukiya style, characterized by elegance and simplicity. The tea house is constructed from natural materials, including native cedar and hardwoods, creating a humble retreat. The tea garden is characterized by low plantings and luxuriant moss, which combine to produce a tranquil setting and encourage a feeling of calm prior to the tea ceremony. Rock the bones of the earth, are a valued feature in most Japanese gardens. They punctuate the space while reminding visitors of other elements of nature. Towering mountains, weathered shorelines, and meandering streams. Rocks also lend a sense of stability and age to the garden. Japanese gardeners consider the garden's topography and the characteristics of the rocks themselves before placing them. They determine each rock's base and position it in the garden accordingly. To make a rock appear natural in the landscape, large sections of it may need to be buried. The Japanese garden has more than 400 tons of igneous and metamorphic rock from the Canadian Shield geologic formation, much of which was hauled from a quarry in Apple Valley, Minnesota. The plants and trees in the Charlotte Partridge Ordway Japanese Garden are hardy in Minnesota and planted according to Japanese garden design principles. Gardeners use special techniques to prune and shape the pines and shrubs to complement and soften rock compositions or evoke images of hilltops and billowing clouds. This deliberate blending of adaptive plants and Japanese design aesthetics serves as a reminder of the enduring friendship between the sister cities of St. Paul and Nagasaki. Japanese gardens have long featured ponds, streams, and waterfalls in their designs representing the abounding and cascading streams in the mountainous islands of Japan. In a Japanese garden, Water can represent a vast ocean, a meandering stream, or a rushing mountain waterfall. Water in the garden is valued for its transient effects. The music of a waterfall is the heart of this garden. A viewing stone at the edge of the pond provides guests with a central vantage point. Dry riverbeds, defined by water-smooth stones, evoke water when none is present and suggest the power of a rushing stream. The dry riverbed in this garden also serves to channel runoff following a heavy rain. Garden pathways often express artful design. Some paths are made of irregularly shaped, flat top stones and are arranged to suggest natural trails. Others use cut slabs of granite, discarded millstones, and other materials. Paths not only direct visitors through the garden, they also help set their pace. Irregular stone paths, such as those used in the tea garden, require that guests watch their steps and induce a thoughtful frame of mind. Regular paths lead to a series of beautiful vistas and important elements within the garden. Stone lanterns in Japan were originally found in Buddhist temples. Later, tea masters used discarded temple lanterns to express the modesty of tea houses, 
while providing light for early morning or evening ceremonies. Lanterns were eventually used in the design of other types of gardens as well. Three of the lanterns in the Charlotte Partridge Ordway Japanese Garden were originally part of the 1904 World's Fair in St. Louis. They were brought to Minnesota for a Japanese garden located on what is now Como Park Golf Course. The city of Nagasaki provided the wide-roofed Yukimi, or snow viewing lantern, located near the bridge as a gift to the citizens of St. Paul. The reddish lantern at the entrance to the garden was created from stone salvaged from a 100-year-old park drinking fountain. On your next visit to Como, make sure to stop by, relax in, and enjoy this hidden gem.